I'd like to talk briefly now about what the new paradigm might be like. First of all, the new paradigm is going to require very different roles. It requires a different role for teachers, from being the sage on the stage to the guide on the side. In fact, I see three major roles for teachers. One of them is the teacher as designer of student work. The second is teacher as facilitator of student work. And the third one is teacher as mentor, concerned with the full, well-rounded development of his or her advisees. I see a different role for students. Students, rather than being passive learners who are directed by the teacher, teacher-directed learning, it's important for students to become self-directed learners so that they can be competent, lifelong learners and so that they'll be more motivated to learn what they're learning. So the teacher as active, self-directed learner is another very key aspect of the new paradigm. There's also a new role for technology. In the current paradigm, technology is primarily a tool for teachers. In the new paradigm, it needs to be a tool for students, for learners. It needs to be a tool that learners can use to engage in self-directed learning and project-based learning. I see the, these tools providing four major functions. One of them is keeping track of what each student knows because you don't know whether the student's ready to move on unless you keep track of what they've learned. It, it also needs to be a planning tool to help plan student projects. Uh, students will learn primarily through projects, and so figuring out what projects are most appropriate considering what the student needs to learn next is very important. So coming up with a personal learning plan for each student uh, we need a tool that can help teachers, students, and parents to do that. Third, we, technology is a very powerful tool for facilitating the learning process itself. It's a very powerful tool for creating immersive learning environments through simulations and virtual worlds. It's also a very powerful tool for providing tutorial support for just-in-time learning as the student is engaging in these projects. The fourth major role is technology for student assessment. And here we feel it's important for the assessment not to be a separate event, but to be integrated with the teaching so that the student can be practicing a new skill until they reach a criterion for correct performances. And once they reach that criterion, that mastery is automatically checked off in the student's records. So this saves the teacher a tremendous amount of time in terms of testing and record keeping for the student. This can all be made much easier through the use of technology. So technology will play a very different role in the new paradigm of education. Now in addition to this, certainly other key characteristics of the new paradigm will be much more customized learning, much more collaborative learning, much more student self-direction and initiative in the learning process, much more in the way of authentic learning tasks, performance-based learning and performance-based assessment. These are all going to be very key characteristics in the new paradigm of education.